6 17 pm on december 27th 2020 some of the workers here had gone to observe magri prayer few of the remaining employees were engaged in different activities but suddenly three gunmen stormed the fuel station two of them ran to the fuel attendants while the other gave a warning shot that was how the cctv camera captured them they robbed the fuel station moment later odiko of adubinsu bia nana asibe buachi the second arrived with his rafo car perhaps to refuel one of the robbers rushed to him but the chief had to move immediately as the robber fired at one end of the car no one was killed but money was taken away few minutes after the robbery Fuseni Suleiman arrived with his motorbike to refuel but there was no one at the pump he walked to where the attendants were being held hostage to draw their attention to his need for service cctv footage shows Fuseni was being told about the robbery incident According to police, the Odikro, who was lucky enough to escape from the robbery, went home and informed the locals. Eyewitnesses say he picked his weapon as the youth of Edubensu Bia blocked the road in expectation the robbers would use that stretch. Fuseni had left the fuel station towards Edubensu Bia. It was about 6.30 p.m. The teaming youth suspected he was one of the robbers, dragged him and lynched him. An eyewitness account says the Odiko accused Fuseni as one who shot him at the fuel station. We even requested we send man to a fuel station to find out whether he was part of the robbers, but he resisted and insisted that he would not allow anyone to send the man anywhere because he is a thief and that he shot him at the fuel station. It is the chief and his people who used guns to hit him and beat him. The deceased is my nephew. He was riding a motorbike when they stopped him. He told them his uncle asked him to bring money to him. One of them took my number, called on phone and asked if I actually sent somebody. I told him yes. He also asked what the message was. I told him it was money. He further asked what the amount was and I quoted it. Then I overheard him on the phone speaking to the people around him that the man was not a thief. So I asked him what was the problem but he said I should meet them at the Kodia police station. We immediately moved our car towards there. We contacted them again and they told us to come to Abu Abuja Rada. We got there and called but nobody picked the calls. An amount of 4,800 CDs and the motorbike Fuseni was riding were nowhere to be found. Some of the boys who lynched him took part of the money, but those who were protecting him retrieved the motorbike and 2,850 cities. Both are now with the police. The case was reported to the Cordier District Police Command. DSP Jeremiah Alale is a crime officer. They have decided to take the law into their own hands. And even a chief should know better. Put your shoes, put yourself into their shoes and see how it feels. It's good to leave an arm, arm, arm robber to go scot free than to kill an innocent person like this boy. Five suspects who allegedly lynched Fuseni are in prison remand.
they will reappear at the Kodia District Court on 1st February 2021. But the Odikro and others are on the run. Police say they would continue to search for them to bring justice to the matter. A report by Mohammed Nuruddin.